All right, so it looks like Nvidia is finally getting ready to reveal their brand new upcoming RTX 3000 series. According to WCCF Tech, Nvidia could be revealing Ampere, which is the code name for Nvidia's upcoming graphics card, at the GPU Technology Conference in March, and this is being held in San Jose between March 22nd and 26th. So that is very soon. In other words, in this video, we're going to talk Nvidia Ampere and everything you need to know about Nvidia's upcoming RTX. A 3000 series such as the 3080 Ti, the 3080 and the 3070. Yeah, we're gonna look at pricing, release date and performance. Hey what is up guys, my name is Robin, welcome to Arbin Hardware. I'm your Swedish host with bad posture and poor accent. So WCCF Tech is reporting the following. Nvidia CEO Jensen has been keeping out of the public eye for quite a while and at the recent quarterly earnings conference he personally invited everyone to attend GTC. 2020 in San Jose. Now what's so interesting about this is that they concluded with a teaser and he said the following, you won't be disappointed and WCCF Tech is believing that he is referring to Ampere here. Guys, I want to pause this video right now and I want you to make a prediction how much you think Nvidia will charge for the upcoming RTX 3080 Ti and I want you to post in the comments down below. Now something that I want you to have in mind is the fact that AMD has got big plans uh, to conquer high-end gaming as well uh, with Big Navi and if you don't know keep in mind upcoming Big Navi will have similar features as the green team's RTX 3000 series. Both will be based on 7 nanometer. both will get ray tracing support and it seems like AMD is uh, taking high-end so serious that they are planning on this run high-end PC graphics the same way that they did with Ryzen processors and how they disrupted the high-end CPU market. PC Games and is reporting that Midcon Cassandraker, which is working as the Radeon product management lead. As at this conference, he was hinting about the red team planning for 4K domination once they were done with graphics card in the mainstream market. And the mainstream market includes the RX 5500 all the way up to the 5600 XT, I believe. And it might even include the 5700 and it seems like they are done in this segment now so this means that technically the next GPU AMD drops should be big Navi with target on 4k domination and so it seems like they're going to be massive competition in the high-end segment so and so with that all in mind how much do you think Nvidia can afford to charge I know it's a funny question and it is a bit too early to have this discussion anyway leave your comment down below with that said let's start with release date, when can we expect to see Ampere? Now, as I'm recording this video, Nvidia hasn't said anything about a release date. They have, however, again been hinting that they're going to talk about something, you know, for GDC. Jensen specifically said that you won't be disappointed, which makes at least me believe that this could mean a potential reveal in March. And according to various sources, Nvidia could be talking and revealing, you know, Ampere at GDC, but only talk about graphics cards for that data centers and not really show anything about GeForce and RTX which is uh, what I'm excited for the most. And there is also a possibility that they decide not to talk about Ampere at GTC at all which I would find very unlikely. Well if that is the case we unfortunately gonna have to wait until Computex and Taipei in June before an official reveal. But yeah I'm having my fingers crossed for a GTX RTX reveal at GTC in March. And so fast recap a potential lamp here a reveal at GDC in late March and if that isn't happening we're gonna have to wait until Computex in beginning of June and depending on the outcome here we're gonna have to wait at least a few more weeks until we have the graphics cards in our hands and if you don't remember when Nvidia revealed the RTX 2000 series at Gamescom on August 20 they opened up pre-order for the RTX 2080 Ti the RTX 2080 and the RTX 2070 on the very same day but we had to wait another four weeks until they were released. With that said, let's look at performance. How powerful will Nvidia's Ampere be? According to various leaks, it is believed that the upcoming RTX 3000 could be up to 50% faster than current RTX 2080 
API, and when it comes to rasterization, and when it comes to hardware accelerated ray tracing, it is believed that the RTX 3000 series could see an even greater increase than the 50% mentioned, again according to various leaks. And this begs the question, how can the increase be so big? It is believed that Ampere will be based on 7 nanometer, and in comparison, you know, the current touring architecture and the RTX 2000 series is manufactured on 12 nanometer, and so this smaller and denser 7 nanometer process will allow Nvidia to put more transistors in the same area, and this will result in more power and better energy efficiency, and this will ultimately give us more performance as a result. It is believed that most of Nvidia's upcoming Ampere GPUs will be manufactured at TSMC, while a fraction will be made at Samsung, and Nvidia did the same thing with Turing, where most of the graphics cards were made at TSMC's factory, while a small portion, the GTX 1050 being one of them, was made at Samsung. Now before we look at pricing, we need to take a greater look at the potential graphics cards Nvidia is planning. So according to most recent leaks, we believe Nvidia's got three cards to reveal when the time comes, and again, it's either going to happen at GDC or at Computex. According to Tweaktown, Nvidia will follow the same pattern as they did with RTX 2000 series, starting with the flagship and then introduced mid-range later down the road. So according to Tweaktown, we're gonna see a uh, a total of three cards being revealed. We got the RTX 3080 Ti, the RTX 3080, and the RTX 3070. And recent leaks have revealed some specifications for both the RTX 3080 and the RTX 3070. But as far as I'm aware, we still aren't totally sure what specifications the RTX 3080 Ti might be getting. But yeah, on the flip side, Igor's lab is reporting that Nvidia will uh, introduce Ampere in the middle class and then or the mid-range and then move up to the more advanced uh, graphics card later down the road. And so it seems like we aren't 100% sure whether Nvidia will introduce Ampere with top-end graphics card first or if they go the mid-range route. Uh, we're gonna have to wait and see uh, how this turns out. So we got specifications for two brand new GPUs guys. Let's start by having a look at GA103. And if you don't remember, this is rumored to be the upcoming GeForce RTX 2080. So GA103, this one will pack 3840 Steam processors. We got 60 CMs and 10 to even 20 gigabytes of GDDR6 on a 320 bit memory bus. 20 gigabytes of VRAM is uh, a lot. Now if Nvidia ends up giving the RTX 3080 20 gigabytes of VRAM, it's going to be a very expensive graphics card. Maybe a bit too expensive, so my best guess here is that they're going to stay on 10 gig. Remember, it is still 2 gigabytes more than current uh, 2080, and this will keep the pricing down, and it will also line up better with the earlier rumors about Nvidia dropping their prices on RTX 3000 series. Now, if you don't remember, Nvidia got a lot of backlash for the RTX 2000, and people thought it was too expensive, and Nvidia sold a lot fewer GPUs than they first anticipated, and with AMD planning on dropping big Navi, fueled by RDNA 2, which also got support for hardware accelerated ray tracing, Nvidia definitely have to be a lot more aggressive with pricing this time. Anyway, that is just my two cents. And I'd love to hear your thoughts on this as well. With that said, let's move on to GA104. And this is the rumored RTX 3070. This one's got 3072 Steam processors. We got 48 SMs. And we got between 8 or 16 gigabytes of GDDR6 on a 256-bit memory bus. Now, Tweaktown is reporting that we should expect the consumer GA103 card to have 10 gigabytes of GDDR6, while the pro-level cards will pack 20 gigabyte. They're also saying that Nvidia could surprise gamers, offering up to 20 gigabytes of VRAM on the GeForce RTX 3080, but they very much doubt that. And then we can see some pictures of the uh, the whole GPU, so to speak. Uh, WCCF Tech is reporting that based on the information that we got now, we can definitely expect true 4K and 60 FPS ray trace gaming from the updated architecture, which is very good news, in fact. And that's something that a lot of gamers have been waiting for for such a long time. Now as far as price goes, 
little to no information about this. My speculation is that Nvidia will ask at least 1200 for the top performer 3080 Ti. I would love to hear your thoughts here guys. How much do you think Nvidia could charge for the upcoming RTX 3080 Ti? Let me know in the comments below. And that is pretty much everything we know so far. I'm gonna keep you guys informed on Ampere and in case you're interested what AMD got in mind for us. I'll link up a few interesting videos below covering pretty much everything we know about Big Navi so far. I'll watch either of these two videos for more content. I want to thank you for sticking around this long. I will see you guys in the next video.